Well, new technology along another highway known for backup should help keep traffic moving. Now, we're talking about I-70 near the Eisenhower and Johnson Tunnel. Your report of the mountain, Spencer Wilson, was there as teams tested the very latest addition to the remote avalanche control systems. This concrete slab on the side of I-70 is where CDOT used to fire their howitzer cannon at the avalanche chutes to knock everything down. But now, it's just a thing of the past. You can imagine it takes a little setup to get this cannon ready to shoot an explosive into the exact right spot and trigger an avalanche early when nobody is in the way. But this winter, Bethel Mountain, just outside of the Eisenhower and Johnson tunnels, will be much simpler to mitigate when snow starts to pile up with these guys. One push of a button and uh, two teams and, and we'll clear, uh, we'll mitigate seven miles of interstate. A helicopter brings up 12 explosive charges preloaded for the winter and has to land them on these perfectly placed poles, exactly where CDOT will have the best bet of clearing snow. The problem is it's a little tricky to load. Between the wind pushing both the helicopter and the payload underneath, I sped up this video clip so you could see just how many times the pilot had to try over and over and over again. But eventually, it all lines up, and it's ready to test out. First, the charge drops out, and the fuse is lit, and then bombs away. Because of the size of the bang that you just witnessed, and we were able to uh, remove eight artillery targets with two towers, and the third tower that just went off was a bonus. More and more spots in Colorado are using remote avalanche controls like this, with a total of 49 different locations total in the state. And the benefit of that, you don't need to see where you're shooting with a cannon. You're already lined up. Having at four o'clock in the morning, we'll, uh, we'll take care of several paths with remote units and have as little impact to uh, traffic as possible. If we're doing it right, public won't even know we were here. So keep your eyes peeled next time you're headed up the mountain corridor for these disguised wonder workers who are keeping our roads safer and ready to roll more frequently along I-70. Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Really impressive and important stuff. Spencer, thank you. Spencer covers what's happening all across the high country. You can reach out with your story ideas through cbscolorado.com. You can also give them a call on our tip line or email your reporter at cbs.com.